Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial. This time we are going to deal with pivot tables. Pivot tables in Microsoft Excel. We already have the data in here. First is we are going to highlight that data. Click insert. Click pivot table. In here, you will see that you need to create a new sheet for this one and automatically Excel is going to highlight the areas click OK again it is still empty this is the new sheet the previous sheet is in here in case you're wondering on sheet 5 we have the so-called pivot table fields so the first thing that we are going to do is to click on product then it will be viewed in our sheet next is the amount so you can see in here click on category there you go and we are going to choose the country I'll check on the data as well this is what you're going to see it's all in there however it is not yet organized so what we are going to do is to organize these fields properly so that it would be easier for us. We have in here the areas. We can drag certain fields. Let's say if I'm going to choose one of them, I'm going to drag it over here. This one in here. So we already have the sum of amount in there. So I think uh, the product will be placed on the columns area so this is how it's going to look like it's way better than the previous one because it's easier to see the fields that we want to look for in here on the column labels you can check on what label you want to view so for example if I want to view broccoli this is what's going to be displayed if I'm going to choose banana broccoli and banana will be displayed I'm going to select all and everything else will be back to normal in here we also have the country if I'm going to choose India only the imports from India will be displayed select all again click OK now it's back to normal that is how you are going to use pivot table in Microsoft Excel. Now let's say if you are able to close the pivot table fields and you want it to be back, just click on this area. You can right click, click on show field list and the pivot table fields will be back into normal. Or will be viewing again go back to sheet 1 this time we are going to deal with charts okay so again we are going to highlight it oh no before I forget I'm going to highlight all of them you can see in here there is some sort of a quick analysis icon it is easier for us to access pivot table from here you can choose from any of these it won't matter now let's go back to our next topic we are going to highlight all of them then click on insert tab choose pivot chart click on this option right here new worksheet and same selection click OK you will be redirected into the new sheet again of course we are going to select which part of the table we are going to view so I'm going to click on date country that's it I can resize it if I want I can stretch it in here 
now if you want to modify it same thing you can drag all of these fields wherever which area you want it to be placed I'm going to select the category and I'm going to drag it on the legend series as you can see the blue one and yellow one are presented in colors fruits and vegetables next is I'm going to drag the country on the filters field let's put the product to access again then drag this one the date to the filters field you can play with it if you wanted to it is easier now you can see in here the blue ones represents the fruits and the orange ones represents the vegetables here you can filter the results if you want to view imports from India this is how it's going to look like by the time you're going to hover you will see the overview as well let me resize this one here you can change the design of your chart to whatever you like I love it black highlight these areas if you want to format it I'm going to place all borders in there highlight again the numbers and I'm going to choose currency since I am in the Philippines so I'm going to use Philippine peso go back to my previous exercise highlight them again all borders and choose currency that's it there are a lot of things to do with pivot tables these are some of the basics and it is very much useful subscribe for more updates and tutorials bye for now